What's up guys? We are meeting up with Trey and Aaron today. I'm so excited to see them. They're really good friends of mine. They're amazing artists and they love bacon. So I'm actually gonna tuck bacon into every part of this dish. We're talking from sweet to savory, bacon and everything. We're doing a bacon chocolate mango cookie. We're gonna do some steak. We're gonna do some red skin mashed potatoes. I think they're gonna have an amazing time. I'm looking forward to seeing them. I felt that, y'all. Yeah. You have a lot of bacon. I love Trey. Known her for a few years now. We've become really good friends. And Aaron is a brother to me. He is a music extraordinaire. He's got loads of talent. He's on American Idol. He can just sing around you. Bacon, how you doing? I'm gonna go in with a couple more strips. We cooking and we cooking and we cooking the bacon. Hey, hey, woo! <laughs> oh yes, lay it in the pan. That flavor in that pan and all that oil, money. Oh, that crunch. Bacon! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I could just hand tray this whole plate of bacon and I think she'd be pretty content. Bacon's cooked, potatoes are cooking, now we're gonna move on to cookies. Yes! A half a cup of butter. Just also one stick. One cup of actually light brown sugar. In the meantime, I'm gonna start by chopping up some bacon. Aaron loves mango. He loves dried peaches, he loves dried mango. And our last add-in is gonna be dark chocolate chunk. We're gonna add in two large eggs, one at a time. That looks great. Some oats. So to bring this all together, we need some flour. About a half cup, that's plenty. Just a pinch of baking soda, and also a pinch of kosher salt. So on a low speed, just add it in, just until it starts to come together. You want it to be really nice and tender, so once the flour disappears, like now, we shut it off. A little bit of flour goes on top of our bacon and our mango and our chocolate, so just fold that in. We're gonna add a little bit of sea salt right on top just to bring out the sweet. Beautiful. We're gonna put that into a hot oven, let it get baked off. Skirt steak. We're gonna go in with generous amount of salt and a little bit of freshly ground black pepper. Now what I'm gonna do is drizzle this with a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna do the other side as well. So when my pan gets hot, I'm gonna work on actually the steak sauce. So I've got some beautiful portobello mushrooms here. You can use any kind of mushrooms. Once it hits the smoking point, we know that we're ready to go. So we're gonna take our steak, just add it right to that pan. Do you hear that? To our potatoes, we're gonna add in that bacon that we cooked. Oh yeah! Nice chunks of bacon. Oh! Cut! Something really bad happened. My I cut my finger, guy. Mm. I actually sliced a piece of my finger off. This is the evidence. I cut myself with this sharp knife. It was crazy. We were in the ER. We had like a thousand people here to come and pick me up off the floor. It was very dramatic. But now we're actually ready to cook again. And I brought my sister. How do you feel about cooking next to your brother? It's exciting. It's very exciting, yes. Ah, oh, yes, with the tip of our knives. Guys, oh boy, add them all. Gonna give it a lot of salt. Um, scallion part? Yeah, that's it. White and green parts. Be gentle with the knife. Oh, yeah. The knife is your friend. Keeping the tip on the board and go down. Don't burn yourself. So you can salt melted it down, right? Yeah. We're gonna cut it in half. So, ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh! Good. I'm not touching the knife anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa! Small, yep, yeah, small, keep it small. Perfect. Beautiful. Ooh, that smells good, right? My eyes are on fire. 
look at you like a pro. That's the pro move. Okay. Watch your fingers. Keep pouring, keep pouring, keep pouring, keep pouring, keep pouring. Yeah. So to clean the pan is called deglazing. And stop. Now you know what else we should add to that? A little bit of Dijon mustard. Right in the center. So the tarragon just enough perfumes the sauce. So that sauce looks good. We shut our heat off and we add our herbs. Good. Mm. There you go. Mm. That's a steak. So now we just gotta pack up and then get ready to go. Awesome! But guys, despite our accident today, we made it. We're on the High Line, the beautiful, gorgeous High Line. I'm here to meet with Trey and Aaron. Food's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be great. I'm ready to meet my friends. Let's do it. Yeah. Ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> How are you? Uh, I'm good. What's up, man? Y'all looking fly. Look, I love this. Thank you. It's an original. I know you made you make these. Do you? I do. And the ring. Yeah. Wow. You're just glamming. You're glam for the Highline. You wore heels to the high line? Who wears heels on the high line? <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time here, actually. Is it really? I always pass by. I, never I don't understand how you're from New York City and you have this not is, been here. Thank you. Okay. Well, there's a lot of places I haven't gone. I'm from New York. I think we just... <laughs> Y'all are hungry? I'm starving. I'm hungry. You're starving. Because I know that you love your pasta, you love your potatoes, you love your steak. I love bacon. The B word. You know yeah. B word. Bacon. Now, Aaron's bacon. a little different. Aaron doesn't have a favorite food. Because I'm pretty much of a pig, so if it's good <laughs> it's, and it's in front of me, it's my favorite. Right. So I just did something that I feel like can embrace all those things. Yeah. Um, and the first dish, our starch, is. Drum roll. Drum roll, please. <laughs> the mashed potatoes. Whoa. Oh. Okay, now what it's got inside of it, it's got some bacon. Hey, why don't you hold it? You got prettier hands. And it's got scallions, it's got garlic. It's a buttermilk smashed potatoes. It smells so good. Garlic and a lot of bacon. Oh. A lot of goodness. I'm excited. You are excited? So Aaron, why don't you do the honors and Great. unravel. Unravel the, <laughs> the secret. I'm so trying not to take this spoon and... <laughs> I have a little anxiety for this moment. Oh, look at the goodness. <laughs> the goodness, the goodness. Oozing out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Whoa. So can nice we and just juicy. discuss for a second, what, what exactly? When I was cooking for you guys, uh -huh. I have an accident in the kitchen. Okay. I promise you everything is safe. <laughs> my sister ended up having to finish cooking everything for you guys. I was slicing through some bacon, and I think I got a little excited. <laughs> oh. Bacon and the does bacon, that. The, right? It does that, and then I just somehow sliced off a little bit of my finger. Ow! Whoa. Is that what this little bit of? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm great. All that red juice. Oh, it's yummy. <laughs> We've got some parsley. I'm so excited parsley. about this. Which I want to just Ooh. get right on top, mm. like that. So, Aaron, because I can't use a knife anymore today. Okay. <laughs> would you do no the honors of slicing us some steak? Sure. Now I'm gonna last put your fingers far away. I'm not in that. <laughs> I'm so I'm excited. Some bowls. I'm, I'm right? Excited. Some steak and potatoes, and I've got you all some... To go boxes. Some boxes that we can just chow out of. Oh, you come on. We got... That's like for one... That's not even one person. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So we're doing healthy portions. Healthy like portions. Add some of this there. There. Boom. Ooh. Boom. Another boom. Another, another boom. boom. Another boom. Give man. me those three pieces. Yes, sir. Oh, all right. Man. Now to top that all off, we got some gravy. Oh. Yes, this gravy's got mushrooms. Oh. I'm always curious as to what people put in Let's the gravy. Let's get married. It's so good. Woo! So <laughs> <good>. <laughs> Let's get married. <laughs> I, I say I do. Mushrooms. Okay. Scoop. Oh, Cheers, y'all. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Boom. I'm ready. You ready? Right, here we One. go. It's not gonna be pretty. Mmm. 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 Oh my gosh. My red tie is a six and a half. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This is amazing. So you recently changed your name. Yeah. Tell me about that. I just felt like I wanted there to be a separation between 
what I do as an artist and what I do as a background singer and everything else. And people still know me as Tiffany, but I think they'll respect me different, I guess differently, but also differently. Um, I agree with that. With a new name and a new look and a new um, sound and, you know. Trace so Stella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds, that, that sounds like an artist mm -hmm. for the ages that just... Yeah, I'm out. excited about it. That is exciting. And you, you've got a single out? I have a single out what? under Trey Stella. So far, the response has been really good. Mm -hmm. Aside from people downloading the song and still not knowing that it's me. <laughs> okay, it's that's like, amazing. It's a little bit of a mystery, but people love it and I'm happy and I can't wait to play more. Out. What's the name of the single? You're the one. You're the one. You're the one. You're the one. Thank you. I, I always wanted to be the one. Listen, after this meal, <laughs> you're everything. Okay. You're the one, two, three, four, five. I love it. I love it. You're always yeah. busy. You and Aaron are Listen, always busy. Aaron we is try. the most busy. I don't know why people say that. Aaron, you're a very busy guy. I think yeah. it's the fact that I have ADD, so I walk around a lot. I'm just always moving. Actually, I think that's the going thing nowhere. That's a lot of creative people, yeah. they, they can't sit still. Right. Yeah. You know, even like when I got cut, my sister mm -hmm. was like, you need to get out of the kitchen. And mm -hmm. I was like, I can't get out of the kitchen. Yeah. So yeah. You always gotta do something. You're also working like a solo. I am. I'm so I excited. Can't wait. I can't wait. I can't either. Oh my God. What's I can't wait for myself to do, <laughs> to put this album up. I mean, I, I when I listen to your voice, your voice is just like butter. Man. It's right, it's like butter in a skillet. There's nothing I can say to you. It's just, it's oh, so man. smooth and like, mm. Thank you guys. And it just, it just makes you get off. Like it just brings you to a place of, wow. Baby, I never can say goodbye. How long have you been singing? I have that cliche story. It's like, I've been singing since I was my wah, 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 wah. You know, you have the, like, the, the video of me singing at like three years old and like the mic as big as my face and that kind of thing. That's <laughs> all I know, man. So what's the album titled or what's it called? I don't have a title yet. Because okay. um, I'd say probably like 80% through. But you know, we're at the final stages of mixing and I wanted to add a couple more songs. We were like, preparing to put it out and I was like, you know what, I have these four more that I've been writing, so we're doing that now. So hopefully mid-fall, going into the winter, I'll have something for you guys to listen to. I can't wait. Yeah, I mean, the stuff that you post even on your Instagram page yeah. is incredible. so dope. It's thank so you. incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You got your EP yep. that's titled Sorry for the Wait. Yep. Tell me about that. Um, I just feel like I have been promising people music for a long time and I was a little sketchy about putting music out actually because I didn't know if people would like it. I've never released anything that I've written. Mm. And so after releasing a song about three years ago and it's, you know, people just love it. I felt like, sorry for the wait, you know, I've been working on it, but here you are, like my gift to the world. So. What and it's gift really to. a gift to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Because it shows you that you are valuable. You have something out there that people want to listen mm. to. And it's the greatest gift you can give to yourself. I'm excited. It's I'm sorry you wait. waited too long too. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm sorry. But I'm happy that you're you're finally doing it. And Aaron, you you've got your foundation, Surrender to Love. I do. Tell me about that. Where did, where did that start for you? Surrender to Love started with uh, a song actually that's gonna be on the album entitled Surrender to Love. You know, I was one of those people, like I was very much influenced by my music teachers and mentors and like that, and my mother is an educator. And one day she called me, she said, Aaron, you know, they took the music program out of our school back in at Atlanta where I'm from. And I was like, that's just horrible. And um, I am a, I also have a, a teaching, a voice teaching business that, you know, called Adventure Voice. Adventure and, like, Voice. So I'm always about like teaching and showing. And I remember what inspired me when I was in school. I wasn't very good at sports. You know, I could run, but it's like, you put a ball in my hand, we're gonna lose the game. <laughs> this is how it was. I was a music and arts guy. And I know that I needed it to be in the school for me to be motivated, to do well, you know what I mean? Or else you get bored. And there are so many kids just in New York City, there are inner city schools all over the city that don't have music programs. And so I wanted Surrender to Love to provide that for them at no cost to the parents, no cost to the kids. Just if music is for you, if arts is for you, whatever, 
and you get to try it. But yeah. if it's not available for you, you don't even, you know? You don't know. You don't know. I think uh, surrendering to love to me means to just concede to going extra. Yes. We get to walk by people every day that are hungry, but it takes you to go, you know what, let me surrender to the fact that that person may actually need it. Maybe that's not a scam or whatever, or even if it is. Mm -hmm. It's just good for me just to go, you know, I, I love you. And, and even if, you know, you didn't work for it, there's a grace that says, when I didn't have it, someone gave it to me, so here yeah. you go. Right. And so if I could just build the foundation enough to feed people and get a bunch of, you know, X-Men music kids <laughs> changing the world, then I'll be, I'm happy. Well, the love that the world needs comes from artists like you and Trey. You, you get up on a stage, you inspire people. Yes. And they may look at you and say, wow, they're, they're very inspiring people. But the, the truth is, you're just like everybody else. Yeah. You're just doing what you're supposed to do. Yes. And that light is lighting up other people to do what they're supposed to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Yeah. As well as you, Laz. I am so inspired by you, man. And you're I'm blazing so your proud trail. To you it's everywhere. A, yeah, it's so cool. I look at your and when I see your post, I'm like, that dude is so cool. I feel <laughs> like I'm you. like the least cool person walking down the street. You're trying to look at you, like, look at your shoes, man. Like, yeah, it's like it's amazing. Those shoes are pretty and incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this food is amazing. Thank you, so thank good. you, thank you, thank you thank for you. cooking. Cheers Cheers again. Again. Thank y'all. Yeah. I made this night everything. And one more thing, Trey. Talk to me about eat, pray, dream. Uh, so I started a little. Don't uh, say little. Well, what I wanted it to be was, was small. Yes. Um, someone mentioned to me that I needed to create a vision board for myself. And I had never made one before, but I heard people, you know, talk about them doing it. And so I'm like, well, why not make a party out of it? Hmm. Ooh. And so I had like this big to do. I had a teen session. I had a whole bunch of teens come and they made vision boards. And then I had an adult session, and uh, they made vision boards, and that turned into Ayala Fix My Life kind of. <laughs> like, it was it was incredible. Like people were like, "Please do this again. My wow. life has been changed." Um, but I called it Eat, Pray, Dream because I wanted food there, yep. and I wanted us to uh, just pray for the things that, first of all, the things that we don't know to say. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of times, people have goals and dreams and visions and they don't know how to articulate exactly what they want and so um yeah it's like let's pray over what it is that that's in our hearts um and then let's put it down on paper and let's really figure out how we can make this happen mm -hmm. and it started off as this small party that you just wanted yeah. to throw and yeah. it turned into that's yeah. awesome so yeah we're gonna i'm gonna have a follow-up soon i don't know when but just want to kind of see where people are mm -hmm. and their um, their planning and their yeah. visions and yeah yeah that's what the, you know it's like the saying that you it's never real it's never reality until you write it on paper right. yep like until it's written down somewhere yep. it's just an idea right yeah. and everybody's got ideas right yeah yep. y'all are awesome you Thanks for awesome. tasting Thank my you. food. Thanks oh, for this cooking. is more than a taste. I'm almost <laughs> done. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Some good soul food. Yes. Yeah. You ready for dessert? Yes. Okay, good. I you didn't know there was dessert. Oh. I didn't know. Two love. Two love. Yes. In. Okay. One. Mm. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. In love. The most wonderful feeling I know. I surrender. When I am with you, oh baby, my heart is at ease. Just hearing you speak, let's run away. Not for a day, but eternity. In love, the most wonderful feeling at all. I surrender. <laughs> so how could, how would I describe this? This is an everything cookie. Everything. It's cookie. a salted oatmeal cookie with chocolate chunks. Oh okay. my! I know you love mango. Yes, so sir. So it's got some dried mango inside of it and some bacon. 
gosh. All right, let's eat it. Mm. Oh, the salt. The salt. It's so good. Wow, this is yummy. <laughs> it's good. She is silent. <laughs> Tiffany, you're right there? Are you okay? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You got a whole box. See you. You don't need to tell me. This could be everything. No pun intended. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it is everything. The salt. Salt and sugar are like cousins. They go, they go very well together. Mm. Ooh, I just got that bacon. Ooh. Ooh. This is really good. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You inspired me to do this because I was like, she loves bacon, so I got to throw bacon in the dessert. And I was like, let's put it in the cooking. So kudos to you. So I would like to give you all my honorable pins. Oh, happily. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So you can rock it. I love it. That's nice. So, <laughs> thank you. Vote for Senator for Savage. Yeah. You're next president. <laughs> Guys, I love you so much. Thanks for being a part of this thank and for you. eating all my delicious food. No, Y'all are awesome. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Come here, group hug, group hug, group hug. Mm. Find out more from these lovely people. Check out their info in the links below. We'll see you next time on Sophie Talks. Everything cooking! Everything cooking!